So, um, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and take a look at this problem. So for this problem, what I wanted you to do is I said A, B, and C. Yeah, A, B, and C. Okay. So for A, what I asked you to do is determine the discriminant. A couple students even asked me what the discriminant was. That was in your notes. You guys need to remember discriminant is b squared minus 4 times a times c. So how do you know what b squared a times c is? Remember, all quadratics can be written as a quadratic equation, where a, b, and c are real numbers. So in this case, my b is negative 4 minus 4 times a, which is 1, and c, which is negative 11. That's squared. So I have 16 plus 44, which equals 60. So that was my answer to A. Got it? Okay. The next thing I asked you to do was describe this. Right? That's why we like to use the discriminant or find what the discriminant is first, because you need to describe what the discriminant is. Since this is positive, I know that I'm going to have two real roots. Since this is not a square number, it's close to the square numbers of 49 and 64, but it's not a square number. We cannot evenly take the square root of it. So since it's not a square number, our roots are going to be irrational. So you should have two real irrational roots. C, I said solve, all right? So remember, solving says your x equals opposite of b, which is now positive 4, plus or minus the square root of your discriminant, which is 60, all divided by 2 times a, which in this case is 2. Now, some students ask, do I have to simplify 60? Of course you do. All right? Not plug it in your calculator and give me the approximation. So 60. We look at what are the square numbers that divide into 60. You think 4, 9, uh, 4, 9, 16. Uh, 25, 36, what do those numbers divide into 60 that we can rewrite as a product with another number? And the largest square number that goes into it is 4. So I can rewrite this as 4 times 15. Therefore, I can now take the square root of 4, which is 2, radical 15. Therefore, I can simplify this to um, 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 15 divided by 2. Now remember, this 2 is divided into both of these terms. So I remember I you guys practiced. Remember we did like complex numbers? You could write that 2 under both of those. So let's just write it out there so you guys can see what the answer would look like. So let's say, let's say I did it like this. 4 divided by 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 15 divided by 2. Well, what you guys notice, can you guys divide 4 divided by 2? Yeah, that's going to simplify it. And then 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So that is going to be your final 15, final simplified answer. You need to have it all the way simplified. I do not want to see decimal points. And if you have a radical, you can simplify. I want to see it simplified. Make sense? Thank you. <laughs>